we see hate on the internet as, as a corrosive force, uh, compromising uh, open dialogue, constructive discourse, uh, disruptive to uh, the very best the internet has to offer. We are most looking at the most radical forms of cyber hate, of incitement uh, to violence, open incitement to discrimination, hit lists, uh, such things. Cyber hate that might lead to violence, you have to incitement to hatred. And this is where freedom of expression has its limits, where the safety and security of people is in danger. We have a regular point of reference that words turn to action and we've seen evidence of that time and time again in instances where we've had individuals connected with the extremist movements uh, in many cases we see that they have acted out on uh, rhetoric that they've experienced online or that they have posted themselves it's important really for us to to take the lead. Whilst we do so, we also have to bear in mind that it's a challenge for us as well because of the complexity of the issue uh, and therefore a nuanced approach is necessary which would take into account some of those complexities. So there has convened a number of meetings which have brought together law enforcement officers, judges, prosecutors, civil society and internet service providers to discuss and explore potential solutions to this problem. NGOs that we work with on the cyber hate issue are very cutting edge, very informed, very active, and OSCE has been wonderful in helping the groups to bring their, uh, their issues to the attention of governmental bodies, and that is absolutely indispensable.